Hello. Um, welcome to my video. Da -da -da. <laughs> I'm not really used to uh, creating offline videos, so this feels really weird. Anyways, um, I'm doing this because uh, yesterday we had a code club and I wasn't able to demonstrate graphics R properly because of some um, settings issue or technical um, difficulties. And uh, so I decided I, I would create an offline video uh, showing the things I couldn't show you yesterday. So um, quick uh, recap on what uh, GraphXR is. Graph XR is a tool to visualize your um, Neo4j graph database. Um, it's a it's an application developed by Kinebase, as you can see. This is the URL where you can find this application. Just go there and uh, log into your graph server, and then you should be able to <coughs> sorry have access to your um, graph and uh, it, this this tool actually has lots of good features among them like aside from querying filtering and stuff uh, the visualization is quite cool because there's much more freedom to explore as you know it's 3d and you can zoom in out rotate and look at your graph and uh, from several different um, angles, which is cool. Uh, you can also plot your data uh, on a map, like so. Uh, please, God, what happened? There should be maps somewhere here. Oh, yeah, see there. So this is the map. So if you have geolocations on your data, uh, your nodes should be positioned uh, on that map accordingly. So that's uh, one of the coolest feature on uh, of it uh, of that uh, in Graph XR. So for now, I would I would like to hide the graph and dive in uh, to where we were. So I'm still on the same database. Uh, it's a um, cocktail database, including recipes of cocktails, um, I'd call them uh, drinks and ingredients uh, mapped. Um, so let's get started. Um, let's pull some drinks. Um, right now the drinks are brown in color. And uh, whoa, I could just... Uh, Hmm, no, that doesn't work. I don't know how I was able to get those um, ingredients. I don't know. So let's just pull all the ingredients because I think we want all the ingredients on our graph. Um, let's just making sure if everything is there. And pull some drinks. I uh, hope that's not too much. And pull the relationships. So now you, what you see is uh, lots of ingredients, so scattered everywhere, and few drinks. This is quite strange. I just got 75 drinks. Did I not ask for more? Hmm. Now I see more drinks, right? I don't know what happened just before. So now we have uh, around 375 drinks. I think it should be fine until we have around, yeah, okay, 500, it's 627 nodes. It should be fine. So when I pull the relationships, ah, it's looking 